Hi, in this tutorial, we'll create an app that provides a visual representation of the app lifecycle. Our app will update the labels on the view when different delegate methods are called. Let's start by opening Xcode. Currently, I'm using Xcode 14 and Swift 5. Create a new Xcode project and make sure it's in the iOS app template. Click next and I'll name the app app event count. Make sure interface is storyboard and language is Swift. Click next. Now head over to the app delegate.swift. I'll make it full screen. Let's create two variables in the app delegate to count the number of times our app has launched. So I'll create a variable called count launch. Actually, let me name this launch count. And then we'll also create another variable to Record the number of times it has created a configuration to connect to a scene. So launch count and we'll set them to zero. I'll call this configuration for connecting count. So there are app delegate lifecycle methods and scene delegate lifecycle methods. In today's um, tutorial, we'll mainly go over the seven main ones. There's two app delegate lifecycles, which is did finish launching and configuration for connecting. They're pretty self-explanatory, but basically the finish launching method is called when the app is launched. And we'll increment the launch count here. So when the app is launched, let's just do launch count plus equals one. And we'll also increment our configuration for connecting count. And this is called when a new scene session is created. So after the app is launched, it has to connect to different scenes. And so when a new scene session is created, this one, um, this lifecycle method is called. And these two are app delegate lifecycles. Let's do the same thing. Let's increment our configuration for connecting count. So every time these are these methods are called, we can um, these variables that we created will be updated. We have completed step one, which is adding event controllers to our app delegate. Next, let's add similar counters and set up our view and view controller. Let's head over to our main storyboard and add seven labels to our view. These seven labels will keep track of the seven main lifecycle methods we'll be tracking. So to organize it, let's add a stack first. Let's add a vertical stack. And inside our vertical stack, we can add the seven labels. So I'll just grab a label and then I'll just copy and paste it. Now let me move all these labels onto um, the stack view. So I just moved the seven labels inside the stack view and now we can set up constraints. Let me take the stack view and align it here. And I'll give it 150 to the sides and then 300 top and bottom. Now I'll just center these labels we have created over here. Great. Now let's open our assistant. So I'll close the sidebar and add an assistant. We'll create outlets from our seven labels we have created now. So hold control on your keyboard and drag over to over here. And I'll name these descriptive names kind of like did finish launching label and I'll click connect. And I'll do the same thing for other six labels, each for one of the lifecycle methods. Here I've created outlets for all seven of the labels. I'll also have these in the description below, but basically I have two app delegate outlets and I also have the five other scene delegate, scene, app scene, lifecycle outlets. Okay, so now let's create variables for each of these, each of the scene ones to count, to have a count. So now I've created a variable for each events in the scene event to count how many times the delegate method has been called. 
Make sure not to do the app delegate, so don't do these two. Only do the five scene delegate events. Now to update our UI um, for when the app delegate methods are called, we need to access our app delegate file here. To do that, let's add another line of code. This will allow you to access app delegate and count variables within view controller. Your app delegate variable will be accessed as a single 10. And since we know the type, it's safe to downcast to an app delegate. And while it may be easy to access app delegate from anywhere, it is best to only access it for what it's responsible for. Now let's create an update view function that will update each label with its counts. For the app delegate, we can use the new app delegate variable we created to access the variables we created over there. Here, I just set the label of our, I just set the text of our label. So did finish launching label dot text is equal to app has launched, and I'm accessing the app delegate variable we created and getting the launch count variable we created in the app delegate file. So we're gonna call this update view function, which when we do it, it's going to change our labels text with the app has launched this many times. Now we can do the same thing for other counters. Here, I updated the labels of our seven, I updated the text of our seven labels. So the first two are from the app delegate. So I used app delegate to access them. And then the scene methods, um, I used our variables we created over here. So basically I just said, um, for the will connect to label, the scene will connect and the number of times the will connect to uh, variable is, uh, number of times the will connect to is um, accessed, the method is accessed. Um, it will increment the count in our scene methods. So these methods here, these five are from our scene and these two are from our app delegate. So I hinted at this before, but now we need to give scene delegate access to these variables so we can increment them. And we have um, access to count variables from our app delegate. So our next step would be accessing them from our scene delegate. So head over to the scene delegate. Now, Inside the scene delegate, create a variable called view controller. That is called as of type view controller and make sure it's optional. So this variable property is set to an optional view controller. Next, add the view controller here. And now inside our scene will connect to um, function method, we will Add, we'll set the view controller we have created here to our root view controller. So window optional to our view root controller as a optional view controller. And this method, so this is one of the um, lifecycle methods in the scene, it will be used to optionally configure and attach the UI window. So basically self-explanatory, but we'll be connecting this to, we'll be giving this scene um, that will get access to our view controller so we can access the variables we created there. So then we can increment each time each of these lifecycle methods are called. So that will help us get a better understanding of when certain methods are called and when app delegate methods are called. Now let's increment our variable count. So let's do in our scene method, we'll do view controller uh, optional and we'll want to access the will connect count and we'll add it to one. So make sure the variables names match what you put here. So over here, I've named it will connect to count. So I'll go over here and use will connect to count. And we'll do the same thing for the other five scene delegate methods. So let me copy this, go over here. And let me also explain these. So scene did disconnect. This is called when the scene is being um, released by the system. So this is on special cases, like when using navigation view, the first time a scene, when you open another scene, the initial scene doesn't always disclose. But when you close the new scene you opened, it will disclose. So that's when the scene did disconnect. So here we'll do scene did. Um, actually, we didn't use this one. So let's go directly over to the next one. We'll do, because we're only doing the five main ones. So scene did become active. So here we have scene did become active count. So let's increment that. And this is when a scene had moved away from an inactive state to an active state. And you can read the comments for the rest, but I'll do the C 
scene will resign active one next. So go over to view controller, access scene will resign active count, and we'll increment that variable. Next one is scene will enter foreground. I'll get that variable. And let me also copy and paste these over here. So these are the five main ones in the scene delegate. And there's two main ones that we're using in the app delegate. So the scene delegate is called when generally the app is launched or closed. Sorry, the app delegate is called when the app is launched or closed. But the scene delegate is called within, um, it's like an individual lifecycle for each view. So when each view is dismissed or when it becomes active, we'll enter foreground or background, etc. Great, so we have completed this step and we have incremented the counts of all our view, of view counts, of our variables. So now all we have to do is just regularly update the view um, in our main storyboard. And then, so, you know, we created this update view function. We'll just have to regularly update that and then our labels will automatically update. So now we have to find the place to call our update view method. You might think we need to call in the view did load, but this actually isn't um, the best place because it won't be called at all of the app delegate methods. A better place to call our update view method is in the scene delegate. And we'll do it where um, scene did become active. This scene um, event method will be called after each scene lifecycle method. So it will be able to correctly count, get the count of all of the other lifecycle methods. So let's add, let's actually call ours right over here. And we actually have to call it after it. So we get the correct counts of all our um, lifecycle methods. So let's put, let's put it here. Um, so view controller, we're accessing the view controller and we're up calling our update view function. All we have to do left is test it and view our lifecycle methods in action. This will enable us to visualize the event life cycles in Swift and iOS apps. So just run our app and it's currently building. Oh, and one other thing. So this is actually supposed to be a variable property because we're setting the value of it later. So I just removed the view controller from the right and just set this as a property. Now we can run our app. We ran into a small issue here, so the text isn't fully expanding, so let's just go fix that. So I'll head over back to our storyboard, and then I'll get our stack view, and let me close the assistant, and it'll be a simple fix. I'll just increase the, um, so we our stack view, and all we have to do is just increase the lines. To fix the constraint issue, first I deleted all the constraints, and just took my stack view and put it in the middle. And then I added two constraints, so 100 from the top and 50 from the left. So that should be fine for now, and let's run our app. Great, so here we can see that the app has been launched once and it connected to the scene once, and the scene become active once. And now if we like dismiss the scene and come back to it, the count changes, so it seems to become active twice. And this is how the app lifecycle works. So there's multiple stages, and only the scene, right now, see, we're not actually fully deleting the app, so only the scene is happening. But if I go ahead and, and delete the whole app, or refresh the app, everything refreshes. So that is, that is it for today's tutorial about app lifecycles, and see you in the next one.